<laughs> it all bust. To all my obedience, we could not gather. We could not gather. Come, 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 come. To all my obedience, family, we could not gather. To the articulate, people are still welcome. And to the bat, I'm not gonna stay one corner. Now, you guys are still welcome to listen. Please like, share, subscribe, share, make their hear, make them know. So, I don't know if you guys have heard this. BBC just released a statement, and according to BBC, they say Peter Obi had more votes, but Tinubu was declared winner. I will read through some of their key points so they make for the news, okay? We added up the voting tally sheets from over 6,000 polling stations in River State where many of the opposition complaints had been made, while the official result in this state gave a clear majority to Bola Tanubu of the ruling All Progressives Congress. Our tally suggested that Peter Obi of the Labor Party LP had actually received most votes in the state by a wide margin. We found an increase of just over 106,000 in Mr. Tanubu's vote in the official declaration when compared with our polling station tally almost doubling his total in the state dot dot. In contrast, Mr. Obi's vote had fallen by over 50,000. It's important to make clear that although we searched through the election website for every single one of the 6,866 polling stations in River State, we were not able to obtain results from all of them. Some were incorrectly uploaded, others were missing, even after a month from the date of polling. In another sub you see, where we are the biggest discrepancies. I will explain what discrepancies means, or discrepancies. Discrepancies is an illogical or surprising lack of compatibility or similarity between two or more Facts. if you look at the graph you see the comparison what INEC declared and what BBC during the uh, uh, investigation what they came up with the first was the Oigbo local government area where we found the vote for Bola Tanubu was six times larger in the officially announced results compared with the BBC's polling station count Peter Obi's votes have been cut in half. The second local government area where we found major discrepancies was in nearby Obayo Akbar. The official result for Mr. Tanubu was 80,000 to 139 votes, but we counted just 17,000 to 193 votes from polling station tallies. The count for Mr. Obi was announced officially as just 3,829 votes, but the BBC counted 74,033 votes for him on the tally sheets. So another discrepancy, broadcast live on the 27th February 2023 in front of Bank of Microphone. <laughs> but they use the word, or they say in front of Banks of Microphone. <laughs> Whether the uh, OP Microfinance or Pampe Microfinance Bank, or I don't know, but they say in front of Bank of Microphone. Broadcast live on television on 27 February in front of a bank of microphones, Oigbo election official D.R. Dixon Ariaga announced his name and that he worked for the Federal College of Education in Omoku. On the recording, the word Omoku is indistinct, but there is only one Federal College of Education in River State. Dr. Ariaga read out all the results in alphabetical order for all the small parties. They all matched those on the collation sheets the BBC had obtained. But when it reached Mr. Tinubu, instead of to say 2,731 as written on our photograph, read out 16,630. Peter will be figure changed again from 22,289 as seen on the sheets. Dr. Ariaga announced 10,784. So BBC tried to reach out to Dr. Dixon Ariaga through the Electoral Commission, but the commission now, they no not give BBC any lead way to reach out to them. So, so after a long search of looking for this very Dr. Ariaga, BBC come go the Federal College of Education or MOC. So they now met Mr. Moses Ekbe, the deputy provost. In his word, though, in quote, he said, from our records, both from our payroll and from human resources, there is no such name in our system. There is no such a name called Dr. Dixon Arega. That's what it meant. 
Okay, in another subheading, you can't say what have the authority said. So BBC went to put their own findings to INEC, and you know what they INEC pay BBC. <laughs> it's got it a cruise finally. Ah, you funny. So BBC go meet INEC official and tell us, okay, see our findings though, see what you will see. Oh. See, we buy this Mr. Dr. Erega we go announce resort to oh. We found out say that man know they exist. You know even they work for the school. One Mr. Johnson Simeken say due to the shortage of time and personnel in his word, I quote, told us that due to a gross shortage of time and personnel, they had needed to take on some people without verifying their identity documents. People will go decide our next next president. I neck official or I neck take people with no fee identify the identity in that any mad person if you just come now talk say in a professor and they will give on the job any human being at that moment whether they look for people and me I define work as me I don't see this opportunity they have go still apply to now most of us define work most of us don't get work for this country we must still go apply me we could become I make official then collect that money I make Hi, God damn it. I suppose the shame for some kind of talk all the talk. Some kind of lie. Some kind of lie. No even good for here. You say you employ somebody to decide our next president. You couldn't identify his identity documents. Or you couldn't verify his identity document. And yet, he declared presidential election results. Shame on you, I make. Shame on you. Shame on you, Mr. Johnson. So now you the carry me come lie down lie as big as you are.